Business has been pretty good for us lately uh, due to the uh, recession and there's a lot of airlines which have uh, been handing back their leased aircraft and the leasing company is not knowing what to do with the aircraft. The, uh, the ultimate is to try and sell the aircraft. If they can't sell the aircraft, we end up breaking them for spare parts. Once we've finished um, dismantling the aircraft and all the valuable parts were removed, we prepare them for disposal. And as you can see, we've got a truck arriving at the moment. We load it all up with the, uh, the crushed aluminium. It goes away and gets fragmented and then smelted into ingots. The metal is not used again, actually, for uh, aviation. It's used for pots and pans and tins and Coke cans and stuff like that. We've seen the number of uh, jet aircraft in storage uh, balloon to almost 3,000 aircraft from uh, sort of uh, 1 to 2,000 in the normal times. And uh, a lot of those aeroplanes this time round are likely to go straight to the scrap men. They won't come back into service when the market recovers because there's been so many new aeroplanes being delivered by the uh, Airbus and Boeing companies uh, that they've, um, uh, they don't need to take these aircraft back. What the recession has done is brought down the value of sec second-hand older aircraft to the point where they're only really worth the, uh, the expensive parts of the aircraft in terms of technology, for example, the engines and the APU and some of the parts. So it actually makes sense for an aircraft owner to break the aeroplane up. And uh, it's a classic example where it's actually worth more as the sum of the parts. We've had aircraft here um, from the Seychelles, um, India, Sri Lanka. Um, we had one here from New Zealand. We got two on the way from um, Japan. Two Japan Airlines 737s are due in very shortly. We've got two KLM aircraft, or three KLM aircraft in here at the moment. Uh, we got a Russian aircraft come in, so aircraft from all, all over the world. Not only that, we fly to wherever the aircraft are. If the aircraft can't fly to us, we'll actually go to where the aircraft is situated to work and we've had engineers working all over the world.